It always amazes me how difficult it is for some trainees to understand what the principle of a peripheral node block is. By definition, peripheral node block is an injection of a local anesthetic in a space that contains a nerve. Let's dissect this. If this is a peripheral nerve, these would be fascicles inside a peripheral nerve. Inside the fascicles we have the axons and that's where the local anesthetic and the nerve block actually takes place. This will be epinarium, this will be perinarium, and these are the axons. Now, peripheral nerve block is always positioned in a tissue space, and that tissue space is always in between the fascia layers. So here is a muscle that borders the nerve, this is another muscle, let's say underneath, but these are the tissue fascia that belong to the muscles that are serving as a space where the nerve resigns. That particular space is always filled with some sort of connective tissue, a combination of tissue strains and adipose tissue. Now, when you want to perform a peripheral nerve blocks, you want to be with your needle in between those two tissue layers, between the two fascia. That's a virtual space, but once you start injecting local anesthetic, the local anesthetic fills that space, and the proper injection is always recognized by the fact that the nerve moves away from the needle. You see, a nerve block is not a perineural injection, intraneural injection, subepineural injection, but injection in the space that contains the nerve. That imparts both the safety, the time efficiencies, and the efficacy to the peripheral nerve block. Let's take a look at the Nisora reverse ultrasound anatomy, and that will really explain very nicely what we are talking about. So that is the nerve that we talked about. This would be a median nerve. These are the superficial muscles and the deep muscles. And deep muscles and superficial muscles contain fascia. Let's play the animation. What we do with the reverse ultrasound anatomy project is we paint the tissues underneath the ultrasound image so we can ingrain that ultrasonographic pattern. But that is the nerve and that is the space where we want to inject. Then we label these structures so that way you actually remember what those structures are. So next time when you see it on the ultrasound, you simply recollect that anatomical or sonographic pattern. Here we can see the needle going through the different tissues, we passing through superficial muscles and fascia layers, and then eventually we latch the needle between the two fascia layers that contain the nerve. Injection of the local anesthetic there pushes the nerve away, which is basically what we want to accomplish. So again, a nerve block is an injection of the local anesthetic inside the tissue space between the two fascia layers that contain the nerve. And again, if you want to better teach and faster learn the peripheral nerve blocks, all of these principles are abundantly present in our nerve block application. Simply go to Apple Store, type Nasora Nerve Blocks, or a Google Play. The best way to learn or teach peripheral nerve blocks. Until next time.